Yo, 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 what up, world? It's your boy, LA, coming to you with another real life shit segment. Man, I want to talk to y'all about something today that, you know, I've been meaning to talk to y'all about for a little minute. The Charlotte Hornet signed D'Angelo Ball. Now, I I back her, you know, a while ago. I wouldn't mind. Now, I, ain't made, I don't think I made a video about it, but. I wouldn't mind the Spurs signing Leangelo because I think he's a good developmental player that could be an elite player. He's 6'8", six, six, you know, somewhere around there, about 6'8", so he could play small forward. I think Jordan got him something good on his hands, man, because here's what I think should happen. Now, D'Angelo is like around about 6'7", six, 6'8", six, something like that. Uh, Lonzo Ball is 6'5". D'Angelo Ball is 6'8". I think that Jordan should sign Lonzo Ball with his other two brothers. I'm just going to put it out there. Why I say that? Because they all can play three different. They all can play, you know, different positions. You could put Leangelo Ball, keep him at the one, keep him running point guard. You can run Lonzo Ball at the two. Or you can run Lonzo at the one and run Leangelo at the two because he's quick. He can move without the ball or with the ball. Or you can switch it off. Switch it off between them two. Run the point. Or shooting guard. They can switch. 6'5", six, 6'7", six, 6'8". I think that's where, where uh, LaMelo at. About six. About somewhere around there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. I see right now. Let's see how tall he is. Let me unlock the tag. Hey, Google, how tall is Leangelo Ball? Leangelo Ball is six feet, five inches tall. Okay, he's six five. Okay. So then, hey, Google, how tall is LaMelo Ball? LaMelo Ball is six feet, six inches tall. Okay, he's six six. And, hey, Google, how tall is Lonzo Ball? Lonzo Ball is six feet six inches tall. Okay, six foot six. Now they can play. They interchangeable. So they got the height. They got the quickness. They got size on them. You can run Melo. I mean, uh, Leangelo Ball at the small forward. You can run. Uh, Either Lonzo or uh, Leon, that boy, them damn names fucking me up. Or Melo, goddamn me, one, two, switching off. I think Jordan should sign all three of them. I mean, you got two of them. I think you should go ahead and sign the third one. Because you, for one, that'll bring some headlines. The Ball Brothers in Charlotte. Lonzo. Go play with your brothers, man. I know I would. Like, because I know what me and my brothers can do together. I think if they sign all three of them and they get them some nice bigs and a bench, hey, Charlotte going to be something next year, man. I'm going to tell you all that now, just like I told my folks about the Suns. When they came out of that bubble, I knew the Suns was going to be a motherfucking problem. I'm telling y'all now, if the, if Charlotte got all three ball brothers on the same squad and Jordan could just put some good pieces around it, oh, that's a, that's a beautiful problem to have because you got three brothers on the team 
that it's gonna be it's gonna be like backyard ball to them, man. Cause I know if if I had got near me uh, brothers that I could ball with, and I know what we did together. See, that's what y'all ain't looking at, man. Them boys, I bet you they can ball like a motherfucker together, dog. So, this blunts for Jordan. Signing LiAngelo Ball. Because I kept saying, man, somebody need to sign that boy. And Jordan did it. <laughs> We're not going to talk about what the fuck the past is. The past is the past. We're going to leave that shit behind us. Damn spiders, man. Fucking getting outrageous, man. Man, this motherfucker guy. I can't keep looking at this. I got to kill this motherfucker. All right, you guys to die, bitch. I can get my ass up in this corner. <laughs> motherfucker. Stab my goddamn house. Goddamn spiders. Motherfucker just chilling in my motherfucking corner of my crib like it's his crib and shit. Nigga, you got to go. So, uh, like I was saying, this motherfucking blunts for Jordan. For doing something that I said somebody should have been did. Sign LiAngelo Ball, man. Get him to playing. Get him to up to playing NBA style ball, man. If somebody just got to work with him, you work with him, you never know what that boy could be, man. I like LiAngelo Ball. I watched some of his workouts. I think he could be elite, an elite player in this game, man, if he stay at it. Somebody got to drill it into him, though. But can y'all imagine all three of them boys on the same squad? Oh, and what if, what if, hey, oh, what if, what if, uh, Giannis got his other brother to come play with him. It's four of them motherfuckers. It's four of them. All of them, all of them tall as shit. That'd be nice. To see Giannis, all his brothers come play with him. Oh, that'll be a, oh, man. Mm-mm-mm. That's some good shit. Birthday cake. That's some good shit. But yeah, I hope to see that happen, man. Lonzo Ball signed with Charlotte. That's what I think you need to do. If you see my video, brother, sign with your brothers, man. Go kill shit in the East. I want to see y'all do some damage. You know what I'm saying? Because I like you motherfuckers. I think y'all got some straight skills. I just think that, you know, you know, Pops was just trying sometimes just over overstepping boundaries, man. But he been quiet, and that's good, man. He been quiet. He been behind the scenes, man. You know what I'm saying? So much respect to uh uh the uh Vail Ball, whatever the fuck his name is. I can't really remember the goddamn name like that. But the ball family. For real. Do y'all thing, man, in the NBA, man. I know the Lakers, it didn't play out how you wanted with the Lakers. You know, Lakers, like, hey, man. I think Ball, I think uh, uh, Vell Ball got to come out and say how the Lakers franchise really is. It's the franchise so you so love so much. See how it did your boy. You know what I'm saying? They don't be giving a fuck about uh, Rudy Poop players, man. And I ain't saying Lonzo a Rudy Poop player. I think he's a damn good player. But what I'm saying is the Lakers don't care for real, man, about low-end talent. They only care about the top-end talent. If they can get some top-end talent on their team, they feel they got a chance to win. They don't know how to build. They couldn't build around Lonzo. You know why? Because they don't know how. They couldn't build around Brandon Ingram 
or Kyle Kuzma. You know why? Because they don't know how. It's been shown time and time again, man. They don't know how to build around a franchise player for real. Look at all look at look at the years they 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 tried to do that shit with Kobe. It's like, yeah, you got a great player that's to build itself up, man, or throughout the years on a Jordan type level. But y'all still went out and tried to keep, keep putting all these stars around Kobe. You you, you went and got Shaq. That got you three championships. Okay, you went and got Paul Gasol. That got you two more. Then what else happened after that? Why y'all couldn't go and draft your future player? We did. Spurs did. We drafted our future player and won a championship with him. When have y'all did that? Lakers. I'm just saying, man. If I'm players out here, if if I was in these players' mind, thinking, like I'd be thinking, like I don't want to go play for the Lakers, cause all they're gonna do is put me in trade talks and belittle me. Why haven't you players fucking un like woke the fuck up, man? Stop going playing with the Lakers, man. They not gonna give a damn about y'all at the end of the day. I, if I was y'all, man, I'd rather go play with another team. I'd weaken the Lakers as much as possible. Make them go draft players. Make them. They constantly trying to lure other star players away like they trying to get Damian Lillard. Come on, bro. You see what I'm saying? That's weak, bro. That's weak. Y'all can't do it. Through the draft. Show me. Show me y'all can do it through the draft. Then I respect y'all. But until then, I can't. Because y'all ain't did it yet. Past tense, I ain't worried about that. Fuck that. After Kobe. Do it now. Build through the draft. But you can't do that. You got to go get LeBron. You got to go get AD. You got to go get Damian Lillard. You got to get Kimball Walker. Yeah, I seen that rumor shit about Kimball Walker trying to get traded there from OKC. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Y'all can't do it through the draft. That's what I want to see. I want to see the Lakers build through the draft. I watched other teams build through the draft. I mean, I've been watching. I can't say the same for the Lakers. I done watched a lot of teams. Every other team around the league, except for Warriors, has been building through the draft. Because everybody ain't trying to stop power, star power. Now the Nets is. Because of Kyrie and shit. Want to get KD and James Harden. And then KD want to get James Harden. See, that's that bullshit. That's that weak shit. They didn't feel that they was enough. Nope. Got to have another star that can score over 30 points. It's all about scoring, huh? No defense. Yeah, man. But I hope to see, man, Lonzo Ball with his two brothers, man, with Charlotte. That's my take today. And that's my topic today. This your boy, L.A. And I'm out to be. Yes, sir,